हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल असमास बॉटनी ओके सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द रिसेसिव एपिस्टेसिस ओके सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एपिस्टेसिस एंड इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द पर्टिकुलरली अबाउट द डोमिनेंट एपिस्टेसिस एंड द क्रॉस विच इज विच इज बेस्ड अपॉन द डोमिनेंट एपिस्टेसिस ओके एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द रिसेसिव एपिस्टेसिस particularly in detail and the cross which is based on this recessive epistasis okay so stay tuned so first of all the recessive epistasis we can understand the definition of this recessive epistasis only by this name of this recessive epistasis okay so first of all you can see the recessive word is coming so recessive means the recessive allele okay and the recessive allele from which gene from the epistatic gene from the epistasis means the epistatic gene okay so in this the gene which is with the allele which is responsible for the epistasis is the recessive allele of the epistatic gene okay so first of all the definition is when the recessive allele of the epistatic gene masks or suppresses the phenotypic expression of the hypostatic gene completely this process is known as the recessive epistasis okay so here you can see only the phenotype phenotype is deviate not the genotype genotype remains same which is uh, independent only the phenotypic expression is affected by this recessive allele of the epistatic gene epistatic gene means the gene which is responsible for the epistasis or which is doing the function of the suppression or the mask function okay and the hypostatic gene is the gene which is suppressed and which can't express because of the suppression by this epistatic gene so here in this recessive epistasis the recessive allele is responsible for the epistasis okay and recessive allele of which gene the epistatic gene so we can understand it by this example coat color in dog this character the coat color is determined by the two genes gene 1 and gene 2 from which the gene 1 is the hypostatic and the gene 2 is the epistatic okay so gene 1 have the two alleles first is the capital p which is dominant which is responsible for the gray color coat and small b recessive allele which is responsible for the black color coat and the epistatic gene of the two alleles capital a which is dominant and it have no phenotype okay and it is not epistatic this dominant allele of this epistatic gene is not epistatic okay and only this small a the recessive allele of this epistatic gene have the phenotype that is the albino and it is epistatic and this recessive allele masks the expression of this gene 1 this complete gene 1 okay this complete gene 1 is suppressed by this recessive allele of the epistatic gene complete gene 1 means what complete gene 1 means the dominant as well as the recessive allele of the hypostatic gene or the gene 1 is suppressed okay not any one both genes both alleles okay so and here you can see this albino phenotype is produced when this recessive allele of this epistatic gene is produced so there will be some limitations because you know that this epistatic gene has a two alleles dominant and the recessive so this capital a is dominant over this small a so in any genotype we will see that 
in any genotype if the capital a is present then this small a this small a the recessive allele of the epistatic gene cannot do the work of suppression or or it cannot show the epistasis because it is on it is itself suppressed by this dominant allele this dominant allele from the same epistatic gene so there will be some limitations okay now the cross which is based upon this recessive epistasis okay so in the cross you can see the parents first parent in this the phenotype is the gray color coat why because the recessive allele of this epistatic gene the small a is absent though so the expression of this gray color this dominant allele capital b is present it expresses and form the gray color then here you can see the second parent which is not black in phenotype phenotype but the small b with allele which is responsible for the black color coat present but still the phenotype is albino why because of this presence of this recessive allele of this epistatic gene the epistatic allele the small a which suppresses it okay then you can form this gametes in the f1 generation you can see here here you can see the small a which is responsible sorry this small a which is responsible for the which is responsible for the epistasis is present recessive allele of this epistatic gene is present small a is present and still the phenotype is not albino it is gray so this capital b is expressed by because along with this small a the recessive allele of the epistatic gene the dominant allele of this epistatic gene means the capital a is also present which are not any phenotype but it is dominant over this small a the recessive allele so it suppresses it so so the small a is suppressed and this small a cannot do the function of the epistasis okay so the gray color is produced not albino okay okay so then you form this gametes and selfing then you can form this checkerboard in the checkerboard you can see mostly the phenotype is gray color gray color coats are present and the albino which is the phenotype because of the epistasis is only 4 in number but in the example of the dominant epistasis where where the phenotype of the f2 generation was 12 is to 3 is to 1 where the 12 character which is present is the because of the epistasis the dominant epistasis okay and here you can see only 4 phenotypes are present because of this recessive epistasis that's it because where where in the previous the dominant epistasis is present okay so the dominant allele can form its function but here you can see the recessive allele is doing the work of suppression okay so this recessive allele is itself suppressed by the dominant allele then the phenotype cannot be produced of this epistatic gene okay so this albino is very less in number in compared to this gray okay so here you can see in this phenotype this is albino why because this is small a the recessive allele of this epistatic gene the small a suppresses the expression of this gray color capital b so the albino color is produced okay 
and here you can see either here small a is present but this is small a is the recessive allele which is suppressed by this capital A okay so this can't express and the phenotype is the gray this capital B can express okay so gray okay and the black color is produced when the small b is present which is responsible for this and so the there will be deviation in the phenotypic ratio and compared to the mendel's dihybrid cross ratio that is the 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 and here the ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is 9 is to 3 is to 4 okay so the gray color Coat, black color coat and as we know this is the and the genotype remains same okay so i hope you understood and stay tuned for the next videos in the next videos we will discuss about the differences between this dominance and the epistasis and the differences between the inhibitory g interaction and the epistasis okay so stay tuned for the next videos and if you like the videos press the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel Asma's Botany and press the bell icon for the latest update. Thank you.